were rushed to the hospital. Again, eyes rolled, mouth scoffed, unsurprised. Like the only place it made sense for you to be was locked up or six feet under. I managed to stitch together the fragmented sentences I had heard and fill the spaces in between with what I could infer. Two soul letters reverberated off the cave walls of my mind. OD, OD, OD. An anthem that I fell asleep to where I dreamed of a bedroom for remission to make love to your addictions. Those two letters became five before I could grasp the finality. D E A T H. I was shattered. The pieces of myself I've retrieved off the floor and put together in the puzzle of my life where I have no room for drugs to fit. I think about you more often than anyone is willing to believe. When you took your first sip of alcohol, a mixed drink of one part peer pressure and another part curiosity, did you know you'd end up drinking your life away? Driving and drinking don't go together, but maybe no one ever told you that. But soon, it wasn't enough. You felt the need to get high to get through the day, but to hear your life start to break and our hearts along with it. You always had a go big or go home mentality. I just wish you hadn't applied it to drugs. But drugs don't kill has become the war cry. I know they don't, because they do so much more than that. They rip families apart, steal honor from fathers, children from mothers, and life from anyone. You huff and you puff, and soon you're the big bad wolf who brings the house down. But I still hold you in the highest respect, and I can't make that point clear enough. Because you never stopped fighting. The monkey on your back didn't live an easy life. Mm.